When you attack an outpost, we don't tell you how to attack it. We give you the tools to do it, right? And you have 360 degree approach, and the anecdotes of what you built and what you did are yours. And we sort of scatter tools and, and animals and uh, uh, different obstacles around that, that uh, hopefully people have a moment to step back, look at them all, construct a plan, and go in and play the way they want to. We wanted to create these places that the player could approach the way they wanted to approach. You know, they can play stealthy, they can play action, do it how you want. You can pick up a grapple, you can grab a piece of meat, and you can basically become a hunter. You can climb on top of an elephant, you can get on top of a mortar, and you can nuke guys from above. So for us, it's not so much about designing a linear experience or a roller coaster as presenting all those opportunities clearly to the player and then providing surprising and unusual outcomes for them. You get to this point in the game where you leave the dev behind and you become the player and you're playing the game and you're realizing we could, we should, we need to do this. You know, we got to create this whole alternate world, right? It's, it's based off the real world and it's inspired by it. We created this legend. It's one of the legends of the land. It's all the people in Karat will know about it. You'll see the connections within the main story. And what you do is you find these pieces of tapestry that are portals to this world and you go and you go back in time and you play as an ancient warrior and you relive this legend and experience it for yourself. When we started talking about co-op, we said, okay, look, in Far Cry 3, we built a co-op experience that was separate. Let's bring it into the open world, which is a huge thing to do to be able to make sure that it runs. So for Far Cry 4, from the open world, from your single player game, you can invite your buddy in. All those single player missions turn off. All the co-op uh, uh, el you know, elements or anything that is available in co-op stays on. So all the bell towers, the fortresses, the outposts, all that sort of stuff uh, uh, stays. Uh, and then when your friend leaves, you can go back to that single player game. So if you buy a copy of the game on a Sony platform, you get to invite up to 10 friends into your game, even if they don't own the game yet. Um, and for me, it adds you know, flexibility and better yet, it uh, uh, you know, adds another, uh, another you know, story character in your world. I can't wait for people to get their hands on it and experience the world of Shangri-La and the world of Krat. And I'm really excited to see uh, uh, you know, everyone using that share button and getting some videos up on there of, uh, of the things you're doing in Far Cry that we didn't expect. So Far Cry 4 is launching on November 18th on the PS4 and the PS3. I think you guys are going to love it.